So let's talk about the two major forms of malware, which are the viruses and worms. Very similar in what they do, but they're actually different in the way they operate. So what exactly are viruses and worms? Well, they're basically malicious code that is developed to change the way a computer or a network operates. Always keep it at the back of your mind that viruses and worms attack network systems also, not just computers, but also network systems as well. Now, there is a major difference between viruses and worms, and that is the fact that while a virus would require an active host or an already infected system in order to run successfully, a worm, on the other hand, is self-replicating and self-propagating. Now, what this means that a worm or worms can spread themselves without any help. They have the ability to reproduce on their own and spread themselves to all the networks and computers without any help. Viruses, on the other hand, require an active host or an already infected system in order for them to run successfully. That is the major difference between the two. So you could say that worms are more advanced than viruses. Now let's talk about viruses in general. Well, there are four basic stages in which a virus goes from being developed to actually causing harm on a computer system. And the very first stage right here is a virus will typically attach itself to an executable file or a Word document. That's typically how they attach themselves. And then they will spread via email attachments, infected websites, and flash drives. These are typically the three major ways how viruses are able to spread themselves. And then once they get onto a computer system or a network, many viruses can remain dormant until the infected file or system is activated. So a virus could be written to only act when something has actually happened on a system. Say for example, a virus could be written to become active only when a user visits a particular website. That's how developed viruses can be. And then once they're activated, the virus goes on to cause destruction. That's basically how viruses operate. With worms, even though they are more advanced, the way they operate is actually very, very easy. They first of all spread themselves or enter systems via network connections or downloaded files. These are basically the two ways how worms are able to enter systems. And then once they do so, they can make copies of themselves and then spread again via a network or internet connection. Kind of like Agent Smith from the movie Matrix. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and see Matrix. It's a wonderful movie. So going back to viruses again, one thing you need to keep in mind is that viruses can vary widely in their objectives. Worms, 99% of the time, worms are destructive, but viruses can vary widely in the way they operate. For example, you could have some viruses that are purely destructive. Their intent, their objective is to destroy files. That's all they are there to do. But you could also have some viruses that want to slow down system performance. So they're not really destroying files, but they are there just to slow down the way a computer system operates. And believe it or not, there are actually some viruses that are non-destructive. That is, they are latent viruses. They're just there. They're not really doing anything. They're not causing any harm. They are just there. Now, the three best ways how you can fight against viruses and worms would be the use of antivirus and anti-malware products. These are some of the two best ways how you can fight against viruses and worms. But you could also restrict the use of flash drives. Remember that viruses and worms can spread rapidly with the use of a flash drive and then finally scanning email attachments still one of the most popular ways how worms in particular are able to spread via email attachments so whenever you see an email attachment always be sure that it is from a trusted source or make sure that you you scan it before you download it to your system so with these three methods you can highly restrict the effectiveness of viruses and worms on any computer system or network system.